So Kevin, a 2-1 victory up here against Elgin City, your overall thoughts on the game? Oh, I mean, you know, we've, we've dug in today, but you know, I think the second half in particular, I've got to say Elgin were the better side, you know, um, they had us on the ropes, they pinned us back, they opened us up and they should have scored, you know, they were a bit wasteful, but we've played better in lost games this season, so, you know, this team are, a, you know, one thing they're very good at is digging in uh, and finding a way to stay in a game and we've done that and, and then obviously Josh coming back for injury, I'm, I'm delighted for him, but delighted for the boys, it's... We've had monumental efforts this year that haven't been rewarded, so uh, to get that reward with that effort today is fantastic. So I'm, I'm up buzzing with the three points, but I think performance levels weren't as good today, um, but we'll take the three points every time. Pleasing that we did create a lot of chances throughout the game? Aye, aye, you know, I, I just think our quality in the ball, our decision making at times wasn't it great. Um, I think the park was, you know, it was difficult at times to play because the surface was a bit bobbly. Um, you know, but it's that time of year. Games are going to be bitty. They're going to be scrappy. And as I said, it's the one thing we've found a way to do. You know, we've found a way to hang in there and, and get a winner at the last kick of the ball. So uh, I'm just, I'm absolutely delighted, and I'm, uh, I can calm down. I thought I lost my my place there during that game with the boys. You know, just a frustration and a lack of quality we've shown. But fair play to them. You know, they've, they've hung in. A great save from Blair Curry early on in the second half. Aye. Yeah, Blair's influence in this team, you know, grows by the week, you know, and that's not because he's he's saving five and six and seven shots, it's because he turns up in the big moments, eh, along with other players, you know, um, but everybody to a man today, effort and desire, ten out of ten, you know, but I'm sure, if we were to sit down all the boys and ask them, I'm sure they would all say they can play better, but eh, the chances were there, um, and, but we need to tighten up a wee bit, and eh, hopefully we can do that for next week's game against Beacon. Great to get uh, for Josh to get the winning goal. Just coming back from injury. Ah, it's, it's been very frustrating for Josh. He built up good momentum, picked up an injury, a bit innocuous, and ended up missing more football than than we all thought he would. So you know he's came back. He's back with a bang, uh, and he's announced himself back in. So you know it's another player to give me a headache. It's a good headache to have, and we know we'll have Daryl Duffy back as well next week. So. I've got some really big decisions to make now between now and then and you know we'll rest up, we'll sort of patch patch the boys back together. Obviously we're missing a few bodies today, so you know it's vital that we, we rest and recover and, uh, and as I say full focus now and breaking for me. The boys will have their moment in the way home I'm sure. But uh, for us it's gonna be about you know preparing for, for the game next week.